Let's finish the debate. Gibson Les Paul versus Epiphone Les Paul. Now I've owned both of these guitars for a long time. One of the first guitars I ever got was actually the Epiphone Les Paul. And I've loved this guitar for a really long time. And the reason I started with an Epiphone is because, well, I couldn't afford a Gibson. And I just got this a few years ago and I have noticed some differences between them. So the first thing is the build quality of an Epiphone is definitely a little lower than the Gibson. And what I mean is just, it's a little more difficult to play. The action is a little bit higher and it will go out of tune a lot more often and not stay in tune. Now that being said, the sound on an Epiphone Les Paul versus a Gibson really depends on what you actually do to the guitar and how much you change it. There are a lot of guitar players who actually prefer the Epiphone sound versus the Gibson. So when it comes to the Gibson Les Paul, it's going to be a little easier to play. Usually it's going to be built better. It'll last longer, stay in tune better. Although the sound really depends on what you do to the guitar. I've always preferred to use the Gibson for more leading stuff and the Epiphone when it comes to more rhythm stuff.